Hey guys, it's Scott here from Anime Blu-ray UK and still be unboxing the Collector's Edition Blu-ray and DVD combi pack release of Psychic School Wars, which has been released into the UK via Anime Limited. So, yeah, don't really know anything about this uh, film, actually. I just really love the key artwork, which coincidentally has also been used on the front cover. So I thought, hell, why not? Let's pick it up and see what it entails. So... I'm assuming these are the four main characters. Yeah, as I said, completely clueless uh, on the front cover. Uh, I've also got the BBFC logo and the logo for the film itself. There's no mention of DVD or Blu-ray or anything on the front. On the spine, we've got some more key artwork, which changes depending on what spine you're looking at. Traditional layout in terms of the Anime Limited logo, collect edition, and then the title. So nothing new there. On the back, we have the collect edition Blu-ray plus DVD comic pack um, information bit with a selection of screenshots and then on the right we have a synopsis of what you can expect from this particular film which uh, yeah again i've not even read uh we then have what's inside which is you know psycho school words a movie 110 minutes uh, as well as the people that are involved such as studio because it's animated by sunrise as well as the director the bonus uh, by the look of it is a 40 page art book doesn't really list any bonus features like trailers or promotional assets or anything like that it just literally says film only which is a bit weird um unless it is a release that only has the film but other than that pretty much standard anime limited collector's edition layout um i do quite like these you know collector's edition blu-ray releases by anime limited especially the one where it's a sleeve that goes around the carded chipboard box rather than just out loose like the uh, tiger and bunny release um and the old you know psychic school worlds uh, expel from paradise uh pattern inverted a letter to momo they all have the same uh presentation design and style so it's nice to have that continuity with those films whereas like i say tiger and bunny i'm not sure about the rising but tiger and bunny at the beginning was definitely one of the first ones and you know it's completely different style and presentation to what this is here but yeah it looks nice uh it's clean uh pretty cool artwork on the front and on the back so it'll be interesting to see what type of artwork we get on the inside uh, I mean, it does have green at the top and the bottom, which is quite interesting. Usually, it would flow naturally, so you got all the dark, vibrant colours, purple and so forth, on the front, and then green at the top and bottom. So it'll be interesting to see the artwork on the inside. But nevertheless, here we have the front, we have the spine, and the other spine, and the back, which all flows quite naturally. And then once we take the sleeve out the top, we've got a completely different but absolutely gorgeous piece of artwork uh, for the chipboard art box we then have more green and then some more gorgeous artwork on that side as well it's quite interesting the contrast between the two pieces of artwork on that box and on the sleeve uh, yeah again very strong material similar to what Funimation use in America for their limited edition sets so yeah you know quite an interesting contrast we then have first up the 40 page art book um, which is a bit glossy and shiny then got lots of character key artwork, um, different poses and so forth. So some back character backgrounds as well. And then just general artwork. It's quite interesting how much um, variety in artwork there is. You know, the front, like I said, the front cover is quite dark and vibrant. And then all of this artwork is quite colourful and bright and, you know, even too bright and mysterious. But one thing to, to note, though, is that it looks like the Anime Limited France have had a hand in this set as well. Uh, which I did hear some rumours about, as throughout the booklet, um, it is in English and French, so it's not a solely English release. Uh, probably what's happened is that Anime Limited France and Anime Limited UK have worked together to bring this release, so maybe the French side have done all the hard work and then the UK side have just rebranded it, which probably explains, I think somebody mentioned to me that some of the subtitles aren't as good as they should be, you know, and that could possibly be why. On the inside, we have the Digipack, which is where the Blu-ray and DVD discs are. Uh, both the discs have the same layout and presentation, but the artwork matches the reverse, well, not really reverse artwork, but the artwork on the back of the Digipack. So we have the boy for the Blu-ray, and then one of the female characters for the DVD, uh, and it looks like they're talking to each other through the cup, even through the discs. And then I'll see the back of the Digipack um, artwork is a nice little cool fireworks display, which I'm assuming is in relation to the, some events that are happening in the film. But obviously, as I haven't seen the film yet, I'm totally clueless. 
But it's quite a nice uh, actual set, all slides in together. There's no like sort of, you know, unusual damages that you could probably expect. Like some anime limited releases, the cardboard is, you know, so tightly together that you can't place it in. But uh, this one, no problems as such. So that's what you can expect from Psychic School Wars, which is a being released as a collection Blu-ray and DVD comic pack within the UK.